Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I am your host, Laurel Gray. And Teach Me Tech is the place to be if you want to find out more about the latest technology tools and applications for your business. Essentially, we walk you through a 45 minute demonstration of how to use the software and actually get it implemented in your business so that you don't have to have the heartache of testing out all these new tools on your own. So what are we going to cover today? Well, let's find out. Today's episode is all about how to get started with Help Scout, which is a help desk software. And before we get started, just a couple of things to note, two quick things. First, follow along. So if you've got a tablet, your mobile device, or a computer handy, make sure that you get that out now. Help Scout is one of those tools that is actually quite tricky to configure. I will say that outright from the start. So if you do have a device handy, make sure that you're following along. I think this is one that probably would be fine on uh, a tablet and the computer. Um, but, and then you can have your mobile device ready because there is an app for Help Scout as well. All right, second thing. If you would like to get on social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or good old Google+, log in and use the hashtag TeachMeTech to ask questions or to share some input. All right, what are we going to cover today? First of all, what is help desk software, if you've never used it before, and why you should consider using it in your business? What differentiates Help Scout from the rest of those tools? And there are a bunch on the market. Deciding on the best application to start out with in your business. So how are you going to use Help Scout in your business if you choose to do that? Setting up your main administrator account. Configuring your first mailbox and email forwarding into Help Scout. Setting up your team and users around your first mailbox. Managing support tickets within your team. And creating canned responses to save you time. Finally, what we'll cover is how to know when you're ready to upgrade to the paid version of Help Scout and what happens next. All right, so let's get started. Now, first of all, what is Help Desk software and why should you consider using this in your business? Now, for me, I personally work with a lot of service-based businesses and especially with a lot of sole practitioners. And the question that I get asked most commonly is even if I'm a sole business owner, or I've got a couple of staff, why would I even bother to have a help desk software? What's the point? Well, look, I always recommend starting from scratch right when you start up your business, making sure that you've got some help desk software in place. And here's why. If you have a support at email address or some place to direct customers for support, it makes your organization look bigger. Secondly, in terms of functionality, it's much easier to clear out your own inbox if you've got customers sending help requests into one location. And then as you start to grow your business and add on team members, whether or not they're virtual assistants overseas or team members that you work with face to face, it is so much easier to have that system already set up. And as we'll find out later on in the episode, there are such things as canned responses and automations and workflows that you can configure within Help Scout to allow you to really streamline and automate your customer support. So even if you're thinking, oh, I'm just, I'm a coach or I'm a consultant and I can't really think of the application that I might use this for. Look, Help Scout is a free tool. It's free to get started for up to three users. So even if you're not using it, get it set up. And as soon as you have a thought about the application, then you can get it going. So what differentiates Help Scout from the rest of the myriad of other options that are available in the marketplace? And if you've done a little bit of a Google search, chances are you've come across different tools such as uh, Zendesk that are very sort of comparable to Help Scout, maybe not in terms of pricing, but definitely in terms of functionality. And a lot of these tools are awesome. I will definitely say that. 
However, we need to look at what's going to be easy for you to implement as a business owner without any kind of outside help or advice other than watching Teach Me Tech. And to be honest, in my experience, a lot of other help desk software tools are quite difficult to configure. Um, because of the advanced automation and workflows, I do recommend that you contact a consultant or work together with someone if you want to configure this type of software for your business. The beautiful thing about Help Scout versus those other tools is that you can also start off with a free version. And I'll walk you through some of the pricing a little bit later. Um, but look, you can start off right from scratch. And even if you're not really using it in your business, you can grow and scale and test it out over time before needing to pay for anything, which I think is a beautiful benefit. What I would recommend that you do is if you are considering implementing a help desk system into an existing business where you maybe have multiple employees, you've got some advanced workflows that you already know that you need to configure, Help Scout might not be right for you. And I'll just say that straight away here. Um, what I would do is probably continue watching this episode to find out more about how to configure Help Scout and see if it's a good fit, but also go out into the marketplace and really research the pros and cons depending on the specific features that you need. Definitely though, if you're a service-based business and you are targeting providing fantastic support to your customers, test out Help Scout and see how it goes. All right, next thing to cover, deciding on the best application to start out with in your business. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky part because look, depending on your business, there could be millions of different applications. So to frame you up a little bit, what I thought I would do is take you onto the Help Scout website and give you an overview of the whole application from the start. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at a couple of different options that you might have depending on your business. All right, so grab your computer and follow along with me. So if you find helpscout.net, it's not .com, um, I, although I believe you can access it through .com, uh, you find the landing page here, and we see it says a 15-day free trial. And then it's got this button here that says, Why Help Scout? Um, we'll go into that a little bit later. I just want to draw your attention down the landing page so that you can see the user interface of Help Scout. One of the things that I really like about it is that it is a very clean and streamlined interface, not only on the desktop application, but also on the mobile version, which you see here. The other thing is that there are not that many options for your team to have to learn. So if you're already on Help Scout, you would know there are just a few different options here at the top for doing things like adding notes or assigning different um, email threads to different employees. With limited options means an easier experience and the increased chance that your team are going to be able to use the software very well and efficiently for your business. Okay. The other little bit to help Scout, which we won't cover in this episode, is that it does have a knowledge base that you can build out. So if there are advanced questions that you might uh, notice that your customers are asking time and time again, building out a knowledge base is something that you could do for your business directly within Help Scout. And you can see an example here that they've used with a menswear brand. And it's important to note here, look, if you're a product-based business, this works well. If you're running a web hosting company, this also works well. It doesn't matter on what type of business you've got. Your customers are going to be asking you the same questions time and time again. And it's great to have a location to keep not only your specialized responses, but also a record of how to solve those issues, both for your team and for your customers. Another beautiful feature of Help Scout is that it has this cool embeddable beacon now you'll see this little beacon here in the bottom right hand corner. You can customize how it looks and build it right into your website so that customers can send support requests right on your site and also search your knowledge base. Okay. What I'll do is scroll back up to the top of the page and I'll just go through the why Help Scout section. So Help Scout is designed for what you care about most, which is customer happiness. And so far, we've just looked at what the interface looks like. Uh, but how you actually provide customer support is by analyzing reports and the data. So the other side of the coin here is that Help Scout provides beautiful reporting for your team. And you can log in. And once you've upgraded to that paid version, you get the chance to see the gorgeous reports. And it tracks from day one. And that's why I always recommend that my 
customers get on Help Scout straight away, right when they start up their business, so that they can start tracking and keeping those analytics in one place. And here's a great visual that they provide, which is it's an integrated help desk, document control, and uh, help chat or uh, like website configuration tool all in one. Depending on your business, Help Scout could help you to save so much time in liaising with customers. I've already mentioned that there are a lot of different applications for this, and it really depends on your business type. So one common feature of Help Scout is that it provides support help desk software, right? So if you've got a customer that's sending in a support request, you can have a support at email address and just start collecting those inquiries. Another application that I've seen is businesses that have got an info or an admin at email address that they need to share with their internal staff. So this might be something that you don't actually share with any customers, or maybe you're just receiving inbound traffic to an info at address that then needs to be submitted out to one of your team to respond to. You could easily use Help Scout to filter that traffic and keep a record of those emails all in one place. Because can you imagine working with a team out of one inbox? Even if you're on Google Apps for work and you've got an amazing setup, you've got everything labeled beautifully, different colors, different automations, let's face it, it's still really difficult to decide who's going to do what from one inbox. And Help Scout solves that problem. Another application that I've seen is for accounts departments that are managing multiple requests. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.